Good morning. I'm about to leave this morning. It is Wednesday and I have a teacher workshop today um, and I am running a little bit late so I'm going to go but I wanted to show you my Christmas tree first. So I'm taking my own vehicle today instead of a school vehicle because I want to um, stop at some places on my way home that I don't normally get to stop at. Some really great thrift stores and I want to go to the Target and see if they have that giant plush pear because I saw it online and I really want one. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have a really fun day today. I'm excited. And when shall we end? If dreams can come true, then why not? Biggest fog I have ever seen. It's getting a little bit more sparse, scarce, scant, uh, blotchy. But that was some thick fog, dude. I think we're getting into some thick fog again. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. But I think it's going to make me late. My living room has never felt so cozy. I have a big haul that I'm about to do. I don't know when, either tonight or tomorrow, probably tonight, because I've got so much energy for some reason. But I have the door open, and it is in the 50s, I think, outside. It's still hot in here. But I'm letting the cold air in. I'm about to scoop the cat's poop, which is very unromantic. But I'm going to scoop the poop, and then I'm going to have some cereal. I'm just going to tidy up put my shoes away, do some laundry, I have dirty clothes over here. I'm just so happy, it just feels so cozy and Christmassy. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing, it's after 11 o'clock p.m. I just took a shower and got all squeaky clean, and I just want to play with a couple of things before I go to bed. So instead of waiting for tomorrow and doing a one big haul, I am going to uh, do it bit by bit. So the first thing I want to share is this lamp. Let me turn on my light. Got uh, clothes all over the place. <laughs> Haven't done laundry. Um, I got this floor lamp for $14.99, I think. Is there a price sticker? Oh, it's right up here. Uh, yep, $14.99. And I want, uh, I set it right here. Hey, bub. I set it right there when I brought all of the bags in. And I like it right there. So I think I'm going to feed an extension cord into the closet and plug it in in there and find a shade for it. I'm not sure. I have a collection of pretty shades because whenever I go thrifting I also look for pretty shades by themselves not just attached to a lamp. So I'm thinking one of these two either the one with the embroidery or just the one that's brown and the inside of that one is gold. So I'm going to pull both of those out and see which one I want to use. I love it. I think it's beautiful over there. I'm so glad that it works because uh, they do have a rep return policy, but I was uh, on my way home from a uh, teacher workshop that's a couple hours away, and so it would have been quite a drive to return that, so it wouldn't have been worth it. So I'm really glad that it worked. I love the base. And then up here at the top, I added... Uh, this finial, this didn't come with it, it had a different finial, but that one matches the lamp so well. And I love that the shade looks uh, gold, it doesn't look brown, it looks gold, and I find that beautiful. Let me turn the lights off. Oh, look at that glow. I tried to ignore my pile of dirty clothes on the couch, I've got jeans over there. 
Uh, I'll clean that up later, but oh my goodness, I love that. And I honestly just want to keep this pile of pretty stuff on the chair because I like the way it looks. But that's all that I'm going to mess with over here for now. Um, in the bags, I also got a handful of, not a handful, a couple handfuls, or a few handfuls. I kind of just went nuts because it's a thrift store and I just, I got whatever, <laughs> whatever, I, whatever spoke to me. Um, so I got some ornaments to add to the tree. So I'm going to show you those. I moved the pile of clothes. I didn't, uh, I didn't move, I didn't fix it. I just moved it to a different spot. But look, it's so hard to capture on the camera. It's so, so warm in real life. Oh, I love it. All right, so first few things. I got a couple of boxes of just... They're just plastic sparkly gold ornaments. They're really tiny. 49 cents a box for a set of eight. Um, just to add some extra shimmer and sparkle in the tree. And I also picked up this pear and this little tassel that kind of matches my other tassels on the tree. They didn't have price stickers on them, so I took up to took them up to the register without knowing. And they ended up being $1.99, which I think is a bit much for just one ornament, but since I was already up there, I just, I just got them anyway. All right, I'm done putting those ornaments on the tree. Here is where that uh, tassel ended up. Where did I put the pear? Oh, no, that's a different pear. I think it's over here. Oh yeah, there's where the pear ended up on the back side, and I have the little gold baubles just all dotted around the tree. There's one up there. Just to add a little extra shimmer from the Christmas tree lights. I think my favorite ornaments though are the ones that are more lightly colored or see-through um, because they look really pretty at night. But I do like the uh, sparkly gold ones. I'm glad that I got those for 49 cents. It's, it's nice, it's good filler. And they're not so heavy that they weigh down branches, so it's really easy to just pop them in on the tips of branches. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and look and see what else I have to stick in the tree. I totally forgot about these, and I'm so excited. I got them for $3.99, and they're sparkly apples with just a little puff of greenery. Kind of like uh, my pears that I have over here. Pink pears with little beads and little dried looking flowers. So those, those are gonna fit on this tree so well. I love the direction it's going with the fruit and flower theme with all of the reds and pinks. These are gonna be so pretty. Here's one out of the bag. Let me turn the light on real quick just so you can see it a little better. Oh wow, oh I love this. Yep, yep, these are gonna be perfect. All right, I turned the light on for these because they're really dark. But there are six of them, and I have one. Two is down there. Three. Most of them are on this side because this side was less full. Four. Five down there, and then six back up here. I like this one because you can see the top. Oh, it's so pretty. So we got a pretty little apple and then the snow covered with those uh, seed heads uh, or seed pods and then the pear. Oh, I love it. Lo love it. Let me see what else I got. All right, here's my last little uh, haul of ornaments, my last little grouping. So I have quite a few individual ones. This one is a very obnoxious shade of like orangey red, but something about it. <laughs> I just really wanted to get it. It's $2.99, which is not worth that at all. This thrift store was being absolutely crazy. I'm pretty sure the lady at the counter gave me uh, all the ornaments without tags, 49 cents. So that's 49 cents. This one was 49 cents, which it's gorgeous, so yay. This one does not have a tag, so this one was also 49 cents. 
this one, $1.99. I love this one. I love that shade of red. And then some little velvet sachets and little boxes uh, with just accoutrement on them. I thought they would match my uh, little elf man pretty well. I got this uh, box of assorted ornaments um, just to pull out. I just really like these. The little uh, pine cone shaped ones that are red and the uh, creamy kind of yellow. So I'm going to take those out and then donate the blue and purple because I don't want those. And then this one, I absolutely love these moons. It doesn't really fit with the uh, theme of the tree, but I'll find somewhere to stick these in my house. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back with my other things because I'm not going to... I'm not going to open that and go through it yet because I don't want the moons on my tree, but I do want the moons. That's all that I want. And it was only, oh my goodness, it was $9.99. Oh, oh well, I really like the moons anyway, so it's fine. Okie dokie, what time is it? It is 12.19 a.m. and I'm done adding things to the tree. This ornament right here was too heavy, um, so I'm going to use it as a little decorative bobble in probably one of my bookcases um but yeah it looks so much prettier in person y'all and it's so so full it is jam-packed with ornaments I had a rough time finding a spot for everything I had to scooch things back and there's still empty spaces but it's just finding places where the ornaments can hang vertically because I want them to be straight up and down um it's a little hard <laughs> when there are so many ornaments in the tree. But, oh, hey, bud. He just headbutted my tummy. Hi, sweet boy. But there is the tree in all of its finished glory. I love the addition of the little velvet ones. It's not the exact same shade of red as the elf, but they're still really pretty. It's just various shades of maroon and burgundy and red and pink. That spot could do something right there. Next year, I think, or even this year, um, as I keep decorating and just tucking things in, I think I want to find some um, things that are not hanging ornaments that I can just, you know, little things that I can stick into those dark spots.